here you have the start list on screen after we saw them being presented on deck. And uh, now it's uh, almost everything ready. It's 4 o'clock sharp right at the, at the second. So just a couple of seconds and the referee is going to let Lauren Alaselka from feeling the start. We see her here on screen right behind the boards. She's going to start her competition with an inward one and a half somersault pike. A little delay here right now. And, we are and here we are. Just a couple of seconds late. No problem with that. See Lauren trying the last... Uh, reviewing the dive and trying the last part of the dive. She was uh, pretending to get getting into the water, grab her hands. Divers do that a lot. Review their dives and do the movements that they're supposed to do later from the board and in the entry. They do it standing behind the board. That happens often. And here we are, first dive of this first final of the day. Beautiful dive. Very strong jump uh, off the board. Uh, slightly too far back, but not that much. Her hips, we saw it here, not going straight up, but a bit too, a bit, a bit behind her. So the dive could have been higher, but overall a great execu ex execution. Sevens from the judges, 50.40. She starts better than this morning. And now second dive from Norway is Caroline Kupka. Same dive for her. Most of the divers, except for two divers, are either starting with the inward one half pike or finishing their competition. The only two that are not doing that are Grace Reed, who starts with the back one and a half and finishes with a front two and a half somersault. And the other one is Anna Pismenska from Ukraine. A good dive, uh, this one as well. Uh, and. Uh, very similar to Lauren before her. Technically, she just moved her hips backwards before the board was uh, coming back up. So not as high and not as close as uh, she hoped. And uh, just like uh, Lauren, she scores 50.40. And just like Lauren, she improves the result as, uh, from this one. Here is Anna Pismenska. As I said, she's not starting with the inward one and a half somersault pike, but instead she does a back one and a half somersault pike. Huge mistake on this dive this morning. Just 35 points for her. And does much, much better this afternoon. She was way over past the vertical line in the entry this morning. She does a good job here lining it up and getting a nice rip entry. Sevens uh, from the judges. 48.30 for her. Now from Norway, Elit Tuxen. Another one and a half summer of pike for the biology student from uh, Louisiana State University. It will be interesting to see in the third round of dives where we'll... Uh, well, she does a good job with her first dive. I was saying the third round of dives, that's when all the three athletes that are competing, the reverse two and a half somersault tuck, they're all doing it in the third round. Yeah, I'm double checking that, but yes, I'm right. Good dive by Ella. The only thing I noticed that I would have uh, corrected to her is the first part of the press while she's getting in her squat. She steps forward with one foot. Uh, a little bit too much, so six and a half and sevens for her, and then lays at 48 points right now in fourth place. Now, Jette Müller, she was fourth last year 
in this event in Rome, in the final of Rome 2022. Did a very good job there. Unfortunately for her, just finishing a bit short of the podium. Beautiful in one and a half somersault. Like again, once again, it's a uh, very good above average, uh, but not very high. That's the only problem with all the inward one and a half, uh, inward one and a half that we've seen so far. This is by far the best one. She gets in front of everyone with uh, 51.60 points, but all of the divers could have uh, had a better takeoff, a higher dive. Overall, though, all of them started pretty well with their first dive. And now, same dive for Kaya from Poland. Big crowd here for her today. She scored uh, 50 points this morning. That would put her same score as Lauren and Caroline that dove before her. And another good dive by the Polish diver. Uh, again, uh, probably seventh for her. Pretty good, very fast in the somersault. Same as the others, it could have been, uh, this dive could have been a bit closer to the board. And just like the others, she gets to 50.40 points. A good start for all of these ladies so far. Let's see now, Elena Bertocchi, three times European champion, 2017, 2020, and 2022. Last year, she is the reigning champion. And a very nice dive. Uh, much closer from the board compared to the ones, the ones divers, the divers that dove before her. But mm, again, not very high. She moves her upper body ahead of uh, ahead of time. Distance is perfect. The lineup is very good. Uh, also, this dive could have gone higher if she wants to get eight. But seven and a half from the judges, 54 points, and she's in first place right now. Lena Enchil now forward two and a half somersault pike. Two point six degree of difficulty and fifty four points for her this morning. She will she's looking to score more than that here. And she does. Most likely is better than this morning, technically uh, high, very, very high. Perfect somersault position, and the entry is uh, much cleaner than what she's done this morning. So I expect a high, higher total score on this dive than this morning, and it is like that. 58, 50 total points on the first dive, and uh, not a bad start for her. In we're one half somersault pike. As I said this morning, Michelle was. Uh, only seven. She is uh, the bronze medalist from the three-meter uh, event here in uh, Sheshov. Um, she was seventh. She missed both the last two dives for five and a half and sixes last year in this event. And that was uh, while well, she was always within the top three ranked divers in the previous rounds. Let's see how she does here today. A good dive. Uh, uh, you can see compared to Elena Bertocchi, who was the last diver uh, showing us this dive. Uh, you can see how further back from the, more distant, further back from the board she is when getting in the water. There's uh, much more distance between her and the springboard when she gets in the water. So six and a half and sevens. I don't want to start with a higher score today. 49 points for her. Grace Reed, back one and a half somersault pike. 
2.3 degree of difficulty for the British diver. A good dive is once again, now he's back one and a half summer pipe, but once again, like the other divers that perform the inward, and also like Anna Pismenska who did the same dive, it is not very close. That's the only problem with this dive. That's why it's not perfect. Other than that, a very good top, strong jump, and very nice lineup here. Perfectly vertical, not creating many splashes getting in the water. Seven and a half, sevens. Not bad for her as well in this first round. And now, Italian diver Chiara Pellacani, the winner of the three meters event. She already took home uh, uh, four medals here. This is her fifth event. Let's see how she does. And she starts very well. A very clean entry. Uh, probably just. Uh, a bit short, uh, a bit uh, lower in the takeoff than uh, Grace Reed, who dove before her. So the judges are going to compare the two. Um, but very, very clean in the water. And uh, indeed, she just gets half a, a point below, below Grace. So 49, 45 right now. Just half a point from the judges well Grace got seven and a half seven and a half and seven she, Chiara got seven 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 and a half so not a big difference there but while we watch the same dive by Emilia Nilsson Garib I want to remind you this competition on one meter is going to be very close o almost all the divers have the same dives in their list so it's old. and uh, Emilia does make a very tiny mistake on this back one half somersault. She's going to score less than this afternoon, uh, than this morning. And that's what I was talking about. Little tiny mistakes could cost a lot to the divers. Uh, you saw how she got in the water over, came out too fast, swinging her upper body back. So six and a half and sevens. And the winner of this morning uh, prelims is in 12th place right now in last. Six and a half, six and a half, seven. I mean, they're all very close. They're all within uh, nine points. So, excuse me, no. They're all within uh, 12 points. So, very close, all of the 12 divers. But, um, yeah, that was a tiny mistake by, by Emilia, for sure. She started with 51 points, and now she at 46. So... She, she has a big advantage in the degree of difficulty because of the reverse to half somersault tuck. But on uh, nine divers, the, the other, other two are also doing that dive and have the same degree of difficulty, difficulty as her. So we'll see. Now we start the second round of dives. And Lauren Alaselka is doing her back one and a half somersault pike now. Same as Emilia right before her. Uh, nice. It is once again, once again uh, not close enough to the board to get eights and seven and a halves, for sure. Uh, the pike position is good. Also, the way she comes out is not bad. Probably is a tiny bit too fast, uh, reaching with her hands back. She should have stopped earlier with her hands backwards. So six and a halves and sevens for her. Ninety-six forty. After two dives, 96.40 for the finish diver. Uh, Caroline Kupka, who was in fifth place after one dive. Forward two and a half, Somersault Pike. Uh, well executed in the air. All the uh, movements to spin at the right speed and the, also the shape of that pike position is very good. You saw how strong she, she, she dipped the board in the water the only one who is capable of doing that here today it's very strong but 
her upper body was leaning too far forward so she ends up being too far from the board sixes and six and a half and Caroline uh, gets at 98 points Anna Pismenska now reverse one and a half somersault pike 2.4 degree of difficulty for her dive is very high uh, probably a lot of uh, upper body movement when she was on tip of the board uh, we saw her here swinging her shoulders and upper body backwards so it's not close but had a weird uh, way of coming back down and she's also quite a lot to the left side of the board uh, goes a tiny bit too far over for perfection, so sixes and six and a half for Anna, 93.90. And now Ella Tuxin forward to and a half somersault pike for the Norwegian diver. Very strong on the board, but off rhythm. And uh, we heard a lot of noise when she got back down from the hurdle. Her upper body also is leaning. You saw it here. She goes way too early. Uh, get trying. To, she, she tries too early to get into the somersault and spin. So her upper body is leaning too far forward and is very distant from the springboard. 50.70 for her in 98.70 total. Now is uh, Jette Müller, same dive for the German diver. She got 40 points this morning. She, it, this was her worst dive in the morning. And once again, the diver uh, le just leaves the board early when the board wasn't all the way up and her upper body the upper body movement towards the pike position is ahead of time. That's why it's quite far from the board. Other than that, you see how all the scores in this for, uh, in this couple of uh, forward two and a half summers of pike that we've seen in the second round are uh, very similar because they do the same mistake that they're just too far away from the board. Uh, same dive once again. And now is a uh, turn for Kaya from Poland. 48 points for her on, the, on this dive. Which means six and a half from the judges on this dive for her. Six is actually. And she's getting more than that. It's once again not very close and not super high, but a very, very clean entry. This is more than sixes, for sure. A very good job by the Polish diver. And uh, in this round of dives, she is the one that is uh, scoring the most points. You see the reaction of the Polish crowd. So 54-60 for her on this dive, much better than this morning. And Kaya is in first right now at 105 points. Elena Bertocchi now, also for her. Forward two and a half somersault pike. Her worst dive of the morning, just 44 points on this dive this morning for her. Good top. And many more here. Beautiful lineup. The, we see the teammates and the coaches uh, screaming for her, cheering for her. Very good lineup. You see how, how clean she is getting in the water. And uh, well, she is, uh, she's very experienced. Uh, one eight sevens and seven and a halves from the judges. Total of 54.60 for Elena, and uh, she's three points ahead. Kaya in first now. Let's move on to German diver Lena Enchel. Back one and a half somersault pike for the German diver. Her. The mistake she did this morning was on this dive. 
Let's see if she can do better than 37 points. And she does better than that, although the takeoff is not very high, and neither the somersault is fast enough to probably get eight. But not too bad overall. Perfect timing reaching back. Slightly over with her feet in the water. Definitely not fast. Um, six and a half from the judges. 44.85 on this dive. And uh, yeah, Lena does better than this morning. Now, Michelle Ember on the, on the springboard. Forward two and a half somersault pike for the Swedish, uh, excuse me, for the Swiss diver. Beautiful, very high, very good uh, off the springboard when she took off. Her hurdle stepped back. Uh, you saw here, her feet are not at the tip of the springboard, uh, but she still goes very high. Only thing about this dive, not very clean in the entry. Uh, could have been cleaner. Other divers have had cleaner entries, but not bad at all. She gets seven and a half from the judges. She's in second place at 107.70 behind Elena Bertocchi. Great sweep now. Reverse one and a half somersault pike for the British diver. She was in fourth place at 50.60 after the first round of dives. And slightly over. Not bad, the timing of the come out is right. Uh, two little mistakes here. She took off with bent knees, not by, not, not a lot, but judges saw that. And also the entry is a bit over. Notice the knees here. She picks up the legs ahead of time, but then here, Pulls too far back with the hands, and it is indeed a bit over. Not, not a lot, but not good enough for eight. Right, uh, just below 50 points, 49.20, and she's at 99.80 right now. Italian diver Chiara Pellacani forward two and a half summers of pike for the European champion on three meter. Oh, nice dive. Same as uh, same as uh, Michelle Einberg from uh, Switzerland. She stepped back on the on the hurdle. You saw how her feet were inside the tip of the springboard. Could have done better a better job with that. But then carries on a very good speed uh, in the somersault and gets a very good lineup. That was the best part of the dive. Perfectly vertical. Sevens and seven and a half. Fifty feet. Uh, 55.90 for the Italian diver in third place right now. Same dive for Emilia Nilsson Garib. Let's see the winner of this morning uh, prelims. She was in 12th place after the first dive and needs eight and eight and a half to be in first. And very good dive overall. Uh, she's very strong off the board, very quick. Uh, pushing the board down and uh, she gets very high also, but uh, probably just the entry could have been cleaner. Uh, she does get a couple of eights. Very good. It is a very high scoring dive. Uh, just with a with perfect entry, this could have scored uh, nines for sure. Almost perfect. Eights from the judges and she gets back within the top three ranked divers in third place at 107.10. So now we will see the scores, excuse me, not the scores, but the rankings after two rounds of dives. Elena in first, Michelle in second, and Emilia in third, but look at that. Uh, between uh, first place and sixth place is just five points. Still a long way to go. A lot of dives, three by each divers left in this competition. And uh, we'll start now this third round of dives with the reverse one and a half somersault pike by Lauren Alaselka. And I want to remind you that the fourth diver in the order is the first one, Ali Tuxen, the first one showing us a reverse two and a half somersault tuck. We'll also have two more divers, Lena 
Lena Enchil and Emilia Nilsson Garib doing that dive in this round. And uh, Lauren uh, misses completely her hurdle. Um, completely over the end with her feet coming down from the hurdle. You see it here. Her toes are hanging out of the springboard. And uh, this causes the dive to go way too far away in the middle of the pool. And way too far short. Below average in this final. Five and a half for her from the judges, and uh, she gets at 136 points. Caroline Kupka, back one and a half, Summers Pike for the Norwegian diver, who is about to move to the United States for a school and diving at University of Texas. In just a couple of months, she'll move there to start her university. She was in 10th place after two dives. And uh, same as Lauren, uh, she does not have a very good uh, takeoff. Lauren, because she was over the end, in this case, she was standing backwards, but she swings her uh, back, back and shoulders back too much and ends up not having enough space to reach back and get a good entry. So a bit short, the Norwegian diver. And she's at 139.90. Anna Pismens can now in one and a half somersault pike for her 44 points in the morning in this dive. And a dive that ends up being uh, vertical, so slightly short, uh, but very low. She does not help herself with the arms when she's uh, on the board. She completely bends her elbows while circling her arms. And uh, even though it's vertical and clean, uh, judges do deduct a couple of points because of that. Six and a half and seven, 48 total points on this dive. And Anna gets in first place right now. Here is the first uh, very hard dive, reverse two and a half somersault tuck for Alituxen. 3.0 degree of difficulty. Oh, nice. Nice. Very good. Uh, she's very strong uh, on the board. A good squat, reaches almost all the way up with her arms on the takeoff, not completely, so she had to, you see it here, she had to pick up her knees a little bit ahead of time and ends up being slightly short. Uh, even though that little mistake with the high degree of difficulty, sixes is a good score on uh, this dive, 54 points. She risked it, but it was worth it because she scored two points more than the reverse one and a half pike that she competed in the morning. Yette Miller now, back one and a half, Somerset Pike. Oh, beautiful entry. Uh, once again, a dive that could have gone much higher. She's not the strongest here uh, for sure so uh, it's normal that her dives are not as high as other divers uh, she's the tiniest if she's one of the tiniest if not the tiniest in this competition but uh, still manages to get perfectly vertical and clean in the water sevens from the judges in this dive and 148 points put uh, yet in second place behind, four points behind Ella Tuxin. Kaya from Poland now, same dive for her.
beautiful dive once again by the Polish diver. Very nice. This morning she scored 48 points. No, excuse me. My bad. Yes, 48 points with this dive. And uh, here I think she's going to go around that score with this dive. Probably even more. And uh, six and a half, sevens. Sevens are the three scores that count for her.